Welcome back. It is that time we join our friend Mike Apple. Good morning to you, Mike. How are you? I'm good, Melanie. How are you? Good, good, good. I know you're enjoying the fall colors. We were just saying over commercial yeah. break, like everyone this weekend. So nice to get outside. Sure was. It was beautiful, and it's going to be a pretty nice day today too. So and the and the colors were vibrant up around Pigeon Lake and the. Bob Cajun and Cobra Conk area kind of did the loop yesterday. Very nice. Perfect way to spend yeah. the weekend. Uh, yeah, let's, let's talk Amazon. Uh, I feel like there's a new story every yep. day, but th these are good stories, let's say. Yeah, they're creating more jobs and uh, a continuation of Amazon's employ here in Canada with uh, 3,000 jobs going to Vancouver. Their hub there will be uh, adding these jobs over the next couple of years. Uh, these are tech positions for the most part to work on uh, the software that runs Alexa and marketing and advertising and all sorts of things that uh, Amazon does. And in Toronto, 500 jobs coming to the new offices that are set to open next year down on York Street at 18 York Street, a new uh, office tower there. So, you know, just it, it follows the pattern here, Melanie, about uh, Amazon expanding its footprint in this country. You know, they've been announcing, uh, announcing new distribution centers. Uh, the big logistics warehouses and also localized distribution plants. So, uh, you know, it's 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 the rise of e-commerce, let's face it, and everything else Amazon does. You know, they've got the video services and, and such as well. So, uh, And speaking of, so Amazon Prime Day, what was the original mm -hmm. date on it? Uh, it was middle of July, summer. if memory serves, but of okay. course that was all canceled because at the time uh, they were overwhelmed because e-commerce was doing so well at that point already because the economy was barely reopening, right? So uh, Prime Day, the uh, the annual shopping event, will be taking place on October 13th and 14th. And this is interesting because, you know, a lot of companies have already said, well, the U.S. Thanksgiving shopping blitz has been canceled for the most part this year because they don't want people going into stores. But Amazon, again, mm -hmm. and any company that has an e-commerce platform can still do big shopping events because they don't have to have people congregating at a retail environment. Right. It, it doesn't have that issue. Uh, let's yep. talk about that. We had this new story just now. We were talking about U.S. President Donald Trump and mm -hmm. the tax reporting. So what are you following? Well, I'm just starting to read the, the New York Times story, but it's it, it, it follows a pattern of Trump's businesses to some extent previously in the casino business and his airlines and even his frozen steak business in some cases, you know, they, they've, they had had financial difficulty. There's nothing to say that anything illegal was going on by the looks of things here, but the fact that he had so many write-offs and losses at his Doral uh, golf course, for example, in Florida, um, you know, there, and, and Trump hotels, which most recently have been struggling to some extent in some locales. Uh, the fact that he wasn't exactly paying much, if anything, in federal taxes, is that necessarily a big surprise? Companies specifically are always looking for write-downs, so there's got to be more, you know, into... It, it comes back to what's the image as opposed to the reality, right? He's right. the big businessman, and he's making all sorts of money, but at the bottom line, maybe not so much. Mm -hmm. I want to get to this, Mike. Uh, casinos here in Ontario opening mm -hmm. today, and this is going to be interesting because they have to work on a limited capacity. So can they be profitable? There is nothing to say that letting 50 people in at any given time would make the casinos any money whatsoever. But uh, maybe it's the start. Um, it, it's it's kind of interesting, actually. I was thinking about this uh, just before we came on here, Melanie. What, what has been happening in, in Vegas where casinos have been up and operational was that not used as a template or can it be um you know as as the slow reopening goes on here and you know the the pickering the new casino operation in uh, south pickering uh that was supposed to be open earlier this year already it's still sitting there waiting for its grand debut so you know it again the shift to online gambling maybe for olg mm -hmm. uh not so much uh within the casinos themselves yeah, we will be watching this one. Mike, as always, <laughs> nice to chat with you. Have a lovely right. day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.